What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's video we're going to be showing how to model cornerstone facade element in Revit. So cornerstones are stones that are located at the corner of a building. Now this is a quite a common element when it comes to a more classical architecture. In modern buildings you don't really see that but when you ever take a look at older buildings it's uh, quite common to see those big stones in the corners kind of accentuating the, the, the or giving uh, kind of more structure and, and strength to the entire building. And I always found this facade element quite fascinating, I always liked it. And I thought, well, how can we model something like that in Revit? And in the beginning of this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the tools that you can use within Revit to model something like that. Uh, unfortunately, it's not uh, the easiest thing to model because uh, some of the basic Revit tools just don't do the job uh, and uh, they, they have certain problems and issues. So I'm going to be showing you kind of the, the basic approach and then I'm going to be showing you the better approach, the parametric approach. So I've actually built a completely parametric family that can be kind of adapted to any height of a wall and it just shows these cornerstones and I think it looks really, really good. And if you want to learn more about that, I have actually kind of created a little mini course. Uh, it's just like a 45 minute course where I go step by step explaining how to build this complex parametric family. So if you're interested in uh, getting both that family and learning the, uh, or getting the course, it's going to be available on my website, balkanarctic.com. So just below the video, I'm going to place the link. And you can either get that course like a separate cheap course, or I'm going to uh, just include it as part of my family editor course. So if you want to become an expert when it comes to building Revit families, that's the course to check out. And this is the family that I'm going to include in that course, as well as other projects that are already included. So check that out if you're interested. As I said, the first link just below the video. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. So let's get started immediately by going here to the wall tool. I'm going to search for the brick on metal stud wall and then let's create a quick little rectangle like so. Hit the escape key a couple of times and then let's change the top constraint to be at level two. Hit apply. Okay, and there we go. Now, if I go to the 3D view, this is what we have. Uh, now, for modeling these cornerstones, uh, apart from the family that they've mentioned, which I'm going to be showing you uh, a bit later in this video, you have a couple of options. One would be to go here to component, uh, model in place, and then you would simply model that in place. So you can go here to, I don't know, we can just model it as a generic model, click OK. Uh, okay, again, and then you could uh, theoretically model that perhaps as a sweep. Uh, you can sketch a path like this. I don't know, something like that. And then you could add a edit profile and then just create that profile that you want to have. So something like, I don't know, 400 millimeters at a 45 degree angle like so and then you can use trim and extend to kind of bring that together to finish and there we go so you can create something that looks like that uh, and then uh, you could uh, theoretically copy it as many times as possible so you can select that uh, just make sure to set the work plane first so go to create set work plane pick a plane and then select the vertical face and then you can just kind of copy that upwards as many times as uh, necessary so you can just Oops, kind of made a mistake there. Let's try that again. Oh, it has some odd lines. So let's try that again. So set work plane. plane. Okay, so it's the this one. So let's go like that. Okay, copy and then go up. And then you can just copy it like that uh, as many times as you need it. Uh, and then finally, you can go here to create void forms, void extrusion, set the work plane to the bottom now. So level one, click OK. And then you can kind of model that. Uh, that little void that would cut the edges. So if I hit finish, 
there we go so it's cutting this one but we have to kind of cut that one and that one so as you can see it is possible but it does take a lot a lot of time and then finally when you're done if you want to change the height of the wall or anything like that well then you would have to come back and re-edit that family so that definitely isn't a good solution uh, the second one would be to use a sweep uh, so that would be just go here to architecture wall wall sweep place one here place one there just like that then you would kind of resize it a little bit so it's smaller and then obviously you would have to create a new profile for that so then you you would have to go here to file the new uh, family and let me just search for a metric profile hit open and then this is just going to be really simple i'm just creating a rectangle like so I know something like that. Again, set this at a 45 degree angle. Fix up the, the lines a little bit and then you can just center it like so. Okay, so once we have something that looks like uh, this, uh, we can then use that profile. So here's our sweep. I can go into edit profile and then just change the profile here to that family see what that looks like now and finally for the kind of the edges uh, you can just select the sweep go to modify returns set the angle at 45 degrees and then when you cut it looks like this and as you can see again it's terrible and it's really hard to copy because it's not going to allow you to copy it upward so you have to repeat that many times so again not a great solution and then finally let me show you the solution that I figured out which is to model uh, this let's see uh, this entire family so as you can see this is a parametric array it's adaptive line based so if I just load this into the project like that there we go let's go to the 3d view you simply come here close to the corner come to the face of the wall you click you drag up and there we go we have our array uh, now it's really hard to get it to corner so usually you would just uh, place it like this uh, kind of a little bit towards the inside and then you just go to the modify tool you use the align uh, tool and then you just align it let's see align the, the vertical line with that corner and there we go looks perfect uh, you can even uh, go ahead and try to lock that in place now it's uh, just like this see how you lock it in place and you can do the same thing on the bottom and then if you select the wall or, or, or all four walls and uh, just change the height let's give it a top offset of thousand millimeters then as you can see this will extend with that wall as well which is really useful so uh, it's going to follow your wall uh, it's uh, just going to adapt to that wall uh, the, the way that you like and of course it's fully parametric so you can select it uh, here you can go into edit type and you can uh, have a desired stone height so if you want smaller stones you can go to something like 200 and hit apply see now they're smaller or if you want them larger they can be larger as well let's try 600 there we go it's going to go even up to something like that uh, also you can play around with the lengths of the stones so if this I set to 800 see now this one extends this one if I set to 600 then that one will extend a little bit there we go so you can play around with all of this obviously stone thickness is something that you can change so it's kind of completely uh, parametric adaptive and it just follows your wall it's very easy to use very straightforward so this is usually the type of solution that you want to uh, find in Revit uh, and as I said the uh, entire quick course will cover how to create this family first we create this two stone segment create all of the parameters for that and then we load it into the line based family I show you how to create the parametric array that we have here I show you how to connect the parameters for the kind of the nested two stone family to the main family so you can control the parameters of the nest family through the main family that's usually uh, a little bit difficult to set up so I show you all of that and then obviously the formulas that are required to make this work I show you that as well and the kind of the methodology that you would 
uh, want to use on a project like this. So there you go. If you're interested in checking out how to create something like this, uh, check out the link in the description. It takes you to my website, and there you can get uh, either just a quick course, or I suggest you subscribe to my website, and then you get access to all of my courses over 100 hours of content. So if you're interested, please check it out. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this kind of quick uh, overview of this quick course or mini course. Uh, I hope you I hope you enjoy it. Uh, please tell me in the comment section below what do you think about this uh, type of a, an array. Uh, do you think it's a good solution? Do you have any other ideas or recommendations? So I'm interested in hearing your thoughts. Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video, and I'll be back, of course, with another tutorial in a few days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.